Well, Australia's National Heart Foundation is examining new American guidelines for cholesterol-lowering medication. Doctors are now being encouraged to prescribe statins to patients who have a very low risk of heart attack or stroke, not just those with high cholesterol. Thousands of Australians take one or a combination of these drugs called statins to lower their cholesterol. In a major change, new guidelines from the American Heart Association and College of Cardiology are urging doctors to not just focus on a patient's cholesterol level. Don't be so worried about how far you have to go or how low you have to go with the cholesterol level, but just get the treatment started that's appropriate for you. The new guidelines target groups who will get the greatest benefit of taking statins. Those who have had a heart attack or stroke, adults with type 2 diabetes, or those with a genetic predisposition or extremely high levels of unhealthy cholesterol. In addition, there's really a new target group, and those are individuals that fall between the ages of 40 and 75 that have a certain percentage risk of developing heart disease or stroke in the next 10 years. Those are people who have other high-risk factors like smoking, high blood pressure, or a strong family history. The new guidelines would double the number of people prescribed statins. There may be millions of patients who previously were not considered cancer candidates for statin therapy who will now actually be started on statins. In the United States, Mike A. Moore, 7 News. So let's bring in Dr. Robert Grenfell, the National Director of Cardiovascular Health at the Heart Foundation to talk about this. Good afternoon, Doctor, and thanks for your time and a very timely chat too, isn't it? Do you agree, first up, with giving statins to those who don't necessarily have high cholesterol? Well, firstly, it's uh, very pleasing that the Americans uh, now have guidelines that are actually in line with ours and the UK and uh, in particular New Zealand as well. What this really means is that we're looking at a way of treating the right person with the right drug and the right therapy. So, uh, for instance, people with uh, high risk of disease or who've already had disease, they need to be on these drugs because they're life-saving. And for other people, it's a matter of working out what are your risks and then quantifying do you need to be on these drugs at all. So I guess the difference then is, is it a form of treatment or a form of prevention? In my case, for instance, doctor, I have um, heart disease history in my family and I'm on these, but I'm, I don't necessarily have high cholesterol. So is that a form of prevention? Yeah, that's uh, quite correct, uh, Matt. Uh, what, what's worked out through these calculators, which we've been using in Australia now for a number of years, uh, is adding up all those risk factors, as was mentioned in the previous report, mm. uh, to determine what is your risk of having a, a heart attack or a stroke in the next five years. So for someone who hasn't had an event, if you're in the 20%, now 20% doesn't sound high as a percentage, but what it really means is you've got a one in five chance of having a heart attack or stroke in the next five years, you need to do something about that now because we certainly don't want that uh, one person to be ourselves, do we? Yeah, exactly. Now, there's a survey out today showing an alarming number of Australians have stopped taking their statin medication following a controversial program on the ABC. So what is your advice to those people? Look, these drugs um, have a proven benefit in people who've had heart attacks and strokes and at high, high risk of having those. And uh, really, they're life-saving in this situation, and you should not cease these drugs without the advice of your doctor. They're their safe medications, and they've been uh, trialled uh, for a very long period of time. And so, uh, as I mentioned, if you're thinking about uh, stopping these medications, please discuss this with your doctor before you do so. Yeah, ask the doctor first. And Dr Grenfell from the National Heart Foundation, thanks for your time this afternoon. Of thanks course, so uh, all that information will be on the Heart Foundation website.